it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Vocation Brewery and it's this special edition Death by Cherries Cherry Sour coming in at 4.5% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. I've had this beer in the fridge you can tell by the condensation on the can it's been in the fridge well it's been out the fridge about 25 minutes I like to drink my sour beer cold but at the same time I like it to warm up a little bit so that I can experience the malt and whatever hops they've added to this particular beer now some of you might know I've been a little bit harsh on vocation over the last six months to a year but I promise you I go into each and every beer review with a level head and let's start again and just let's hope I like this one and this is how I'm going into this beer review let's hope I like it I picked this up from Sainsbury's it cost me three pounds a can Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, now then. Now then, look at this. Oh, <laughs> two finger pink head on this beer nice levels of carbonation as the beer rolls up the side of the glass that looks tremendous that looks absolutely fantastic so if this was a belgian beer it would be a creek so the belgians when they brew cherry beers they, they generally age a beer on cherries in massive vats and they aged them for years. Now, I totally understand that Vocation have probably not aged this beer for years on cherries because it probably cost about six pounds a can, wouldn't it? And I paid three pounds for this particular beer. But this does look, this looks like a Cherry Creek from Belgium. And that ABV, 4.5% ABV, yeah, that's about right too. For an ABV for a for a creek style beer K R I E K if you want to Google it. Uh, good levels of carbonation in the beer. Lovely, lovely deep cherry red colour. Slightly hazy. Let's get the aroma. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, should I put my pinky away? I don't normally stick my pinky up, but I damage my. I'm not sure if you can see that. I give my finger a right bash in. Smashed it against a rock. A rock fell on my hand and my finger just exploded on the end. I was like that. Ooh, nearly passing out type of thing. So I need a beer. Loads of tart, cherry aromas coming through on this. It smells like one of those cherry cough medicine sweets that you used to get. Like a cherry tune or a cherry locket, something like that. It smells out of this world fantastic. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everybody. My goodness me, my goodness me, I haven't done this for a while with a vocation beer, but stone the crows, stone the crows, what a beer this is, wow, it was just three or four days ago, I was literally contemplating whether to release a beer by Thornbridge, uh, no, by vocation, because I didn't like it, I, I, I hated, I hated the beer. It was a chocolate small imperial stout with marshmallow and 
overly sweet, terrible beer. Didn't like it, didn't like it. And I was thinking, I've been so harsh in this review and I put such a harsh thumbnail out there and I feel really bad releasing this. But it's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. I'm being honest. There was plenty of people in the comments box of that video saying, hey, I quite like sweet beer. I quite like this. So it's just my opinion that I'm that I, I, I'm kind of offering you here. But this is great. My opinion on this beer is this beer is great. It really is a great beer. This is like being in Belgium, having a fantastic Cherry Creek. But it's got a lovely, rich, creamy mouthfeel. There's some sweetness there. There's some sweetness there, but it's, it's kind of well-balanced sweetness. It's there for a purpose. Oh, that's good. That is really, really good. Really good. I'm really pleased, actually, that... I mean, you don't get that many. You can buy the Bashu Spears, can't you, in Morrison's. Or you used to be able to buy the Bashu Spears. They were like, a, they had a paper wrap on them. You could buy a Frambuzen beer, which was, if I believe, ras raspberry or blackcurrant. And the cherry sour was, in fact, a creek. And they had a creek on show as well. So they were the only beers you could buy with these kind of like cherry or raspberry Bashu beers. We have something else, but this is in a can. This is canned craft beer. This is canned Cherry Creek. And it's good. It's really good. I like the thought. I like the thought that I've got a really good beer on my hand here. And I could just pop to Sainsbury's and pick it up and buy it and buy four cans. For three pound a can. For three pound a can, this is really good beer. And I'm going to be honest. I am going to be perfectly honest with you. It was only a week ago I reviewed that toasted small beer from Vocation and I hated it. And then the very next day I went to Sainsbury's and I seen they had some new beers and I put them all on the trolley. And I've got to be honest, because I hated that small so much from Vocation, I picked this up and went, and I did this, I blew my cheeks up and I was like, and I put it back. I went to push the trolley away. And I went, no, no. You don't just review beer from breweries that you like. You have to give everything a chance. And I'm so glad I turned the trolley round, unpuffed my cheeks and just, I just, no emotion, I just plunked it in the trolley and thought, right, for three quid, you might as well give it a try. And I'm really pleased I, get, I, I did, because that is the best three pound that I've ever spent on a vocation beer. That is blooming delicious. That is blooming delicious beer. Fabulous. If you like Cherry Creeks from Belgium, with a little bit of a creamy mouthfeel, buy that. Warning, not for the faint-hearted. Only the brave can handle this intense mix of sweet and sour cherries. Its bold flavours will leave you even the biggest adrenaline junkie wanting more. A mouth-watering jammy sour with an intense cherry overload as vibrant in colour, in flavour, sorry, as it is in colour. Well, well, vocation, you carry on surprising me. I may not be the biggest fan of your stouts, but this is brilliant. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for Death by Cherries, available in Sainsbury's. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.